Hello, in this video I'm gonna talk about managing state in React applications. But what is state? State is simply a variation or different stage of one same thing. For example, people can go through different states emotionally from happiness, sadness, to excitement, and so forth. But it's all the same thing, a state of emotion. In React, you can think of state as any data that should be saved and modified without necessarily being added to a database. For example, adding and removing items from a shopping cart before confirming your purchase. To start, we are going to create a state object. The object will contain properties for everything you want to store in the state. For us, it's users. Now, let's create some dummy users with name property. First one we can call Bob and second one can be Paul. Our data is officially contained in the state. I want to add a method which can remove users from our state. To retrieve this state, we'll get this.state.users. And this is how it looks with this structuring. To update the state, we'll use this.setState, a built-in method for manipulating state. We'll filter the array based on an index that we pass through and return the new array. You must use this.setState to modify an array. Simply applying a new value to this.state property will not work. Filter does not mutate but rather creates a new array and is a preferred method for modifying arrays in JavaScript. Now we have to pass that function through the component and render a button next to each user that can invoke the function. First we get users from state. And we'll pass the remove user function through as a prop to user component. The only thing that we are missing now is that users component. Let's add a new file called users.js. Define a simple functional component that takes props and export it as default. This component receives users as an array through props so we can use map method to loop through them and return a paragraph for each user. Don't forget to add a key property to the paragraph. Inside we can show the name of a user and we can display a button. Since we are getting the remove function from props, let's add remove text and call the remove user function on click. The onClick function must pass through a function that returns the removeUser method, otherwise it will try to run automatically. This function receives index as argument, so it knows which user to remove. Last thing is to import users into the app component and test. Awesome! Now we have delete buttons and we can modify our state by deleting a user. Now you should understand how the state gets initialized and how it can be modified. Please let me know if this was helpful and don't forget to subscribe. I see you folks in the next video.